no matter where you go, there's a 500 pound lot of shit waiting for you. And that is perfectly fine. The point isn't to get away from the shit. The point is to find the shit you enjoy dealing with. Today I'm going to share three life principles to learn the subtle art of not giving a fuck. Before sharing the principles, let me define life according to this book. I must say, this is the most sensible and practical definition of life I have come across so far. The author defines life as whether we choose a career, a job, a study program, a friend or a partner. Life is always about choosing a problem. So we better choose problems in our lives that we learn something out of them and we enjoy their struggles. Did you get what it means? We have always been wrong about life. Life is not about happiness, it is about problem. Happiness is just a byproduct of the problems. These counterintuitive definition changes our perspective of looking at life and the problems. It lowers the bar for our happiness and expectations and increases our resilience towards the life challenges. Now the question of how can we live a better life comes from learning two arts. First, the art of choosing the right problem and second, the art of optimizing the byproduct which is happiness. We are living in a world of never-ending options, choices and opportunities. Whatever we want to do today, we have more options than ever before. And due to our greedy nature, we want to choose all the available options which as a result makes us overwhelmed. According to Mark, the art of choosing the right problem comes from the clarity of your end goal. What do you want to achieve from your life? It is like what do you want to be written on your tombstone besides your name when you die? The clarity of your end goal will help you choose the right problem that will contribute to the achievement of your goal. Basically, it works as a selection criterion for you. When your goal is clear and you choose the right problems, what should you do with all the other available opportunities and choices? Well, the author suggests to not give a fuck about it. Just keep learning and enjoy the chosen problems. Now the second art necessary for living a better life is the art of increasing the chances of your happiness from your problems. These three life principles from the book will help you remove three common sources of stress from your life. Principle number one, choose the right scale of measurement for your life progress. Let me explain this principle through the story of Dave Mustang. Dave was a guitarist who was thrown out of his band in 1983. Out of anger and revenge, he wanted to create a new band, to teach a lesson to his previous band and to show them how the success looks like. For two years, he worked his ass off. He brought together an amazing team of musicians and created a successful band. They even sold 25 million records. Their success was incredible for everyone, but except Dan. Despite all this achievement, Dev was not happy because for him, success meant defeating his former band. And unfortunately, his former band was one of the biggest bands in the world which he couldn't defeat. Dev was sad and he was looking at himself as a failure. He was measuring his success with the wrong scale. We are no different than Dev, at least I know I am. Every time I look at the views and engagement of my videos and compare it with the views and engagement of Mr. Beast videos, I feel a total failure. But when I look at my channel and see how much I have progressed from the first day, I become happy and motivated. Just correcting the scale of measurement for your success through the problems that you choose reduces your stress and increases your happiness. Principle number two. Take the responsibility for your shit. Our lives are full of mistakes and we often repeat the same mistake again and again such as mistakes in our job, money management, family problems, health maintenance and relationship. These recurring mistakes account for a significant stress in our lives yet we never learn anything out of them and we let them to continuously ruin our lives. The author says 
To avoid any mistakes from happening in the future, first we must take the responsibility of our previous mistakes. When we accept we were wrong, we prepare our brain for learning from those mistakes. So then, we make our problems more fun and exciting. We must stop acting as innocent victims and holding other people accountable for our mistakes. We are not flawless angels, we are humans and humans are made for mistakes. Principle number three, don't give a fuck about your identity. Identity is the root cause of our suffering, so we should learn how to detach from it. As the author says, the more something threatens your identity, the more you will avoid it. For example, if you believe you are a productive person, enjoying your time with your loved ones or friends or doing anything unproductive will threaten your identity of productivity. Therefore, most probably you will avoid any good experience that goes against the values of your productivity. The reason your identity does not do any good to you is because it creates boundaries around you and limits you from the experiences that may bring happiness to you. When we are born and grow up during our childhood, the identity of religion, ethnicity, skin color, beliefs, gender and nationality are already attached to us by our parents and the society. On top of all these activities, in our adult life when we attach more identities, we limit our freedom and happiness even more. If you want to live a happier life, you must accept the fact that your identities are nothing more than just labels. And as soon as you can detach yourself from them to avoid your identities dictating your lives. If you give a fuck about Mark Manson's second book about hope, let me know. I would love to choose that problem and share my learnings from that book with you. See you in the next video. Much love and bye.